Hey, it's Jeremy from OpticHouse.com. Check out my website, OpticHouse.com, and my blog, blog.OpticHouse.com, for updates on my latest comics and sketches. So, I'm kind of jumping ahead with this video a little bit, because I still have a few more drawing videos of me inking, but I started moving into the Photoshop gray toning. And this was kind of fresh in my mind. I really kind of wanted to address it because when I first started doing Morningstar, when I did the uh, the first three issues, I intentionally did not do them with uh, any digital gray tones. And my reason for that is because I wanted to challenge myself. I used gray tones in Eye of the Gods, and I think that it definitely helped give the book more of a polish than my art had initially. And I definitely think that it, it makes work the same way that a lot of people, you know, definitely use color to great effect to enhance their storytelling and make a piece feel finished. I think the same is true in, in black and white comics, that gray tone can add a lot to it. But I felt that in a way I was kind of getting away with something. I'm always trying to push myself to improve my, my craft, my draftsmanship skills. And I felt that by forcing myself to do a draw a comic in black and white with no gray tones at all, just by leaving the work out there as naked and raw as possible, I would be forced to to step up my game, to try and figure out how to make things look better just with the 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 black and the white, the ink on, on the page. Just it all comes down to my composition and my draftsmanship skills and just having to do the best I can. That said, when I got to issue four, I play with time in kind of an interesting way in this issue because I flip back and forth between each spread takes place either as a flashback or in the present. And then you turn the next page and it's two pages that take place in the past. Then you turn the next page and it's two pages that take place in the present. And I go back and forth and back and forth. And that alone was me trying to do something ambitious with my storytelling and it also, I did it to change the story structure to keep it from being a little bit too predictable. But I really needed gray tones to kind of differentiate the time periods. Mainly in the fact that I was going to drop the, uh, the opacity of the, uh, the pages, kind of give them sort of a, a grayed out look on the, uh, the flashbacks. And, you know, just doing that made it much more easy for people to understand the, the, the leaping back and forth in time. Now, when I did the very first page, I saw, wow, this really does step up the look of the page. And I kind of, of I was of two minds. I'm torn about it. Because on one hand, I want my book to look as good as possible. On the other hand, the reason why I challenged myself to do the book without Great Towns up until now is to just force myself to try and draw better. And I think that I did succeed to some degree in, in stepping up my skills and my my creative game. But just the fact that I couldn't pull it off in these later issues means I still have a lot of growth to do. So I am probably at some point going to go back and add gray tones now to the earlier pages, but I'm conflicted. I mean, definitely now that I've made this, this jump, I'm going to stick with doing gray tones for the rest of the series, and I think that will make the book look better. But it's also, I, I realize that I'm backing down a little bit from the challenge that I set for myself. So I'm not sure what this means for me going forward in the future, because I certainly intend to do things like, you know, limiting myself to do, uh, do something with just black and white or just gray tones to challenge my, my draftsmanship skill to see what I can, can communicate just with that. Um, yeah, it, I'm in an interesting place. I'm in a transitional place. I'm, I'm doing something that I feel now it, it looks really, really good, but I'm turning my back on a challenge I set for myself. So I'm going to keep trying to push myself in different ways in the future. That's it for now. Check out my website, opticals.com. Go be creative.